In this lecture, we will continue working on the upload feature. In the previous lecture, we implemented the listener code needed for this feature. So when the user now writes the upload command, the listener will read the file that the user wants to upload and it'll send a list that contains the upload command, the file name, and the file content. So now the backdoor is receiving this list and all we have to do is implement code in the backdoor to parse this list and write a file on the hacked system based on the information sent in the list. So the command list is being captured in here and it's being stored in the command variable. Now we know the first element of this list is the command itself. So we're checking if the command is exit, we're checking if the command is cd, if it's download, and we also need to check in here if the command square bracket zero is upload. If it is upload, then again, similar to the syntax we're using at the previous if statements, the command result is going to be equal to self dot write file and the write file method takes the file path as the first argument so again looking at this diagram the file path is the second element of the array or of the command so we can access this by doing command one and again, this is similar to the file path in here and similar to the pa file path in here as well. And the second argument that the write file takes is the file content. And the file content in our case is the third element of the command list. So it's going to be command square brackets two. This will call my write file it'll pass the path to it and the content and that's it. So let's just have a quick overview of what's gonna happen before we execute our program. We're assuming the user is gonna enter upload. We're gonna check if the command is upload. If it is, we're going to read the file which is in the first element of the command list. The contents of this file is gonna be stored in the file content variable. And then this variable is going to be appended as another element to the command list. The command list is going to be sent to the target, to the backdoor. The backdoor is going to receive it here. It's going to be matched within this condition. And it's going to call a self.write to write a file which has a name that is specified in the second element of the command list and has a content that is specified in the third element of the command list. This will execute this code right here. It'll write my file and it'll return download successful. Now this should actually be upload successful because we just copy pasted this method. That's why it's saying download in here. The command result is gonna contain a value saying upload successful. This will be sent to my listener and the listener is gonna receive it here and finally print it on my screen. So let's go ahead and test this code. So I'm gonna clear my screen, I'm gonna start the back door and I'm gonna connect to it. And before I do anything, I'm actually gonna remove the GTR image and I'm gonna remove the sample.txt and we're gonna try to upload them. So when you want to upload something, you wanna make sure that this something is in the same working directory as our backdoor. So my backdoor is in this path, and right now in here, I am in the same working directory. Now let's execute a normal command, like a dir, and as you can see, we don't have the GTR, and we don't have the sample text. And let's start with uploading the sample.txt and perfect this is telling us that the upload is successful let's do a dir and make sure that it's there and as you can see we have the sample.txt 
Now let's upload the gtr.jpg. And again, that's perfect. It's telling us that the upload is successful. Let's do it there and make sure it's there. And it is there. So now we managed to successfully upload them. Let's go ahead and open them and make sure that they did not get corrupt when we uploaded them. Now you can see that the image is already working properly because we can see the preview and we open it. It's opening the image for us perfectly. And let's open the sample. And as you can see, the sample contains the full text. So now we're able to upload both text and binary files from our backdoor to a hacked computer. Now this is very, very useful because like I said at the start of the lecture, this opens the door to so many more attacks. Now you can upload Python programs or Python programs converted to EXEs because I'm gonna show you how to package them into executables. So you'll be able to upload keyloggers, viruses, or any other program or any other idea that you implement yourself.